Hey guys, it's Stormwalk Studios here. So, I know I've done a lot of LEGO reviews and reviews on sets and my own customs and things like that. But today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make my custom Heath Ledger min ba Batman Dark Knight minifigure. Um, so, it's going to be a little different. I mean, I haven't done a review lately on him. Uh, as you can already see, I've changed the hair to him. Uh, it looks way more like it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what you need to make it. I'm only going to show you guys how to make the face and the hair. Uh, I'll show you guys what you need to make it and stuff like that. So, uh, just bear with me. Um, I'm going to do this video a little different than I've done past videos. So, uh, yeah. Why don't we uh, just get to it. Uh, see you in a sec. Alright guys, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need red, a red sharpie. Alright. Black sharpie. Uh, I believe this is fine point. Yeah. You're going to need a very nice small tip paintbrush for painting the face. You're going to need uh, testers, uh, green paint. This is like model paint. This is very expensive paint if you don't have that. Um, then you're probably going to have to bear with just normal paint to paint the hair. But this is probably the best paint to do the hair with. Uh, you're going to need just some normal white paint. It doesn't matter what you need to, for that. I would go with testers for that too, but since I don't have any, I'm just going to use normal paint. You're going to need paint thinner for your paintbrush because if you screw up, you're going to need to go back. This also works on the minifigure. All you need is to uh, wet your uh, or dab the paintbrush in this and wipe off the paint off of your minifigure's head and it should work. It's worked for me unless you guys screw up. No offense. You're going to need a toothpick to do uh, the pupils and stuff like that. And you're going to need a paper plate and possibly like a paper towel or something like that to wipe off any mistakes. So, yeah, that's all the stuff you need. Um, and so, yeah, let's begin. Alright, so first things first. You're going to want to need a, like, extra he head or something like that that you probably have extras of, like an Indiana Jones head or a Harry Potter head or something like that. And then... See, I used the Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker hairpiece, also the Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker hairpiece, I guess now. But since I don't have any more of those, I'm going to use the Prince of Persia hair, and we're just going to bear with that. Um, I'm going to show you how to paint the hair, but it doesn't mean you have to use this kind of headpiece to do use it with. You can use any kind of hairpiece, actually. It doesn't matter. It's how, whatever way you like your Joker. Um, so, yeah, let's begin. So, first things first... You're going to want to get your white paint and your paintbrush. Uh, get the paper plate that I told you guys to get and uh, just make sure you have that where it needs to be. Get the white paint. Don't use too much because you don't want a lot of paint all over everything. Um, it can be a mess and depending on what kind of workplace you have, you don't really want to get it all messed up. So. Uh, put like a about a penny's worth of paint on it on your paper plate once you have that um, get your spare head and your paintbrush and then take it and dab just enough paint onto it not very much if you guys can see that that's not very much turn the headpiece around make sure it's directly in the middle of the headpiece because you don't want any extra stuff happening and you guys are going to have to bear with me because I'm about to paint in front of the camera and I don't want to screw up so take the headpiece and just very very carefully just paint a little white over it and believe me it is okay if there's a little bit of uh, skin showing because like Heath Ledger had in the Dark Knight, or I keep saying Dark Knight Rises, I have it on my mind. In the Dark Knight, uh, he had a lot of the paint, like, scratched up, you know, paint was peeling off and stuff like that. 
so you don't have to cover the minifigure's head in white paint. That's not really smart anyway because um, you're going to have to dry this with like a hair dryer or something like that. Um, depending on how much time you have. If you just want it to air dry, it'll probably take about a couple hours. But if you use like a hair dryer, it should take like maybe 5-10 minutes. So, yeah, here. Hopefully if you guys can see that. Oh crap, I'm already getting it all over the place. So if you guys can see that, not really. Uh, you can kind of, yeah, see that? It's kind of like white, peeling just a little bit. So basically, the white paint is already done. You are done painting the face almost all together. Take your toothpick and very carefully, just in some areas, not the entire head, just in some areas, scratch the paint off to make it look like it's peeling. You know? So, when you're done, it should look like your Joker has a few wrinkles. This camera isn't high quality and stuff like that, so bear with me, like I said. Um, yeah, so that's just the head. Hold on one second. I'm going to dry it, you know, make sure it's completely dry, and we'll get on to the makeup and detailing to it. Alright, guys, so I'm back. And so the drying portion of it went really well. Um, it only took me about two minutes, actually, to make the uh, paint dry I don't know if that's because of the quality of the paint or what but overall it worked really well you guys can see that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scratch off the back detailing face uh, this Indiana Jones face whatever face you guys are using gone so what you're gonna want is a good pair of scissors uh, you know whatever kind you have or a really good quality knife now the trick about this is you don't want to scratch the head to where it like kind of disfigures the back of the head because that can make the hair piece loose and stuff like that and that's not what we want so all you want to do is you want to open up your scissors and very 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 gently let me try to do this in a way very gently just scrape the, uh, the face off Hold on one second. Let me do this behind the camera so I can get it done faster. Shouldn't take long, guys. Hold on one second. Okay. So, there's that. It's all scratched up. Everything's gone. We're good. The, you now have a plain white face. Or you should at least. So the head's almost done. Get your toothpick again, since your paint should be dry now, and just go over like the pa uh, the places of the head where you scratched up to get the paint off. This way, since the paint is dry, it'll be easier to get some of the paint off. You know, it'll uh, look more detailed and stuff like that. And that's really what we want here. We really want this to be a very detailed uh, Joker. Alright, and so basically the majority, the majority of this minifigure is already done. Now we are on to detailing the face, which this is really the best part of this entire, like, uh, just lesson. It's just detailing the face. So let me get, let's spot myself. I'm going to use the Joker I already have completed to do this. So this is when you want to be very, very, very careful. 
this is like the most hardest part of the lesson. I, like I said, it's the most fun, but it's also the hardest. Because if you screw up with the Sharpie, you're going to either have to repaint it or you're going to start all over. So, first off, get your Sharpie. You know, uh, if uh, this isn't really good quality for you, just get a picture of Heath Ledger on your computer or uh, find a custom Heath Ledger decaling for Legos. That's what I did for my original one. And let's begin. Hold on one second. I'm trying to get my Joker in position for me to look at it. Okay, so very, very carefully. I know I've been saying that a lot, but you really do need to be careful. Just dab on the black Sharpie. And that's what it should look like when it's done. Just two small lines and a few X marks here. I'll try to get you a better picture. Oh, this freaking camera won't zoom. Anyway, that's what it should kind of look like. Now when that's done, get your red Sharpie. And very, very gently, like I said, take it and just go over the black lines so that the makeup And that should sort of look like the Joker's face. And you know what? It's okay if it's not like a perfect line because the Joker's makeup is not perfect. It's supposed to look ugly and ferocious. So, that's, so, so basically your entire bottom of the face is done. Like the lips and everything should be done. Then take the hair piece because this is what's going to spot you. And it should look something like that. Then get your black sharpie again and slowly just do the outlining of the or the black makeup of the eyes. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like. that you should have one eye done and then just slowly do the outlining of the eye of the eye or the pupil
And the two eye makeup, like the eyes and the makeup and stuff like that, aren't supposed to look exactly the same. Uh, it's just supposed to be, look like blots of black, you know. And if you screwed up like I did, that's okay. Because if you get your white paint and your toothpick, uh, just dip a little bit of paint on it, not too much. Like so. Sorry about that. Just dab the pupil. You guys can see that a little better. Okay, so your entire Joker face should be done about now. Now, if you want to make the uh, face look a little more accurate, what you do is when the paint dries, just take your finger and slide it across the lips of the Joker. That's the new one. I just took the old one off. Just slide your finger across it, and it should, like, smear the red sharpie across it so it looks like uh, the lipstick was smeared all over so your entire joker face should be done by now okay so now moving on take your green testers paint <coughs> and then take your paintbrush and your paint thinner open up your paint thinner dip your paintbrush in get the white paint off of it and uh... Make sure it's all cleaned out, stuff like that. Because you don't want like a small piece of white to show up in the hair when you're making the hair. Hold on one second, let me clean the brush off real quick. Alright, so your brush should be pretty much cleaned up by now. Um, take your green paint in your hair piece close your thinner so that that doesn't accidentally fall over while you're working believe me that's happened to me plenty of times and see the thing about paint thinner guys is that it takes the shine off of things so if you have like really shiny hair like the, like the black hair Prince of Persia hair I have right there if you have something like that and you get paint thinner all, all over it, it'll take the shine away or it will make it like a dull color. So that's a little trick if you want to make something look a little dull like uh, clone troopers or something like that. If you're making like battle damage clone troopers and stuff like that. That's just a little trick. Okay, so the tester's paint comes with like this little thing at the top of it. It kind of seals it. It also goes in the cap. The cap. That has just enough paint on it to paint your hair piece. So you're going to want to take your brush and get a lot of green paint on it, you know. And then you're going to want to take it and just slowly start painting over your uh, hair piece. And make sure you don't get all of it so that there's little streaks of brown or blonde or whatever you're using. I'm using a brown hair piece so there should be streaks of brown on it. 
see, and another thing is you do not have to paint the inside of this hairpiece unless you want to go all out, then by all means go ahead. Um, you just need to paint enough so that it, uh, the hair is green with uh, little streaks of brown and stuff in it and stuff like that. Then once the front of it is done, you want to put it back on the minifigure's head so that you don't have to hold the hairpiece while it's wet. And if you give me one second, I will show you. That's the start of it. So get some more uh, purple paint on it and just start painting the rest of the head, you know. I know I've been really quiet, it's just that when I'm uh, doing things like this, and especially since this is a video for YouTube, I want to make sure it turns out really nice so that, um, you know, you guys have a really good spotter, you know, you guys know exactly what it's supposed to look like and stuff like that. So I'm sorry if uh, the video is very quiet this time around. Usually people can't get me to shut up, so... And, uh, here, I got a little piece left. When it is all said and done, you should have yourself a Heath Ledger Joker. There you guys go. Um, I know it's not very good picture quality. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just a little bit different than my original one. Uh, different hair overall. It's almost the exact same thing. Uh, you can also use the same kind of ways of make, uh, like painting the face of this Joker to do like a scarecrow or something like that with like the mouth and the eyes. Um, there's a new Lego set, uh, the Arkham Asylum set that comes out in 2013. Uh, you can also, like, if you buy that set, you can use that and uh, come up with your own custom design. But uh, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, little quick review. I know it probably is about a 20-25 minute review. <coughs> but I really hope you guys enjoy this review. I really enjoyed making it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helps you guys. And I hope you guys keep creating because um, the guys watching this and the guys who make their own customs, those are the guys who are going to go far with Lego. So again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, and stay tuned. Got my, uh, many more things to come. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me, guys. See ya.